Hi, I'm Linda Ann. I found this book at an antique store. Usually I try to find things that are free that I pick up trash to turn into art, but this one jumped off the shelf at me. Probably some nostalgia because of the pictures and it looks like what I had in grade school. I turned that picture into this one and I'm going to show you how today. You'll need to find a book to alter, not necessarily a child's book, but one that has a lot of space around the text and that's illustrated with very little color in the illustrations. You'll also need a fine tip black India ink artist pen, some clear gesso, and beautiful shimmery paints from color art such as the silks, the twinkling H2O's, and radiant rain mist. I'm putting a piece of freezer paper on each side of the, the pages to keep them from sticking together when I paint them. I still have all my childhood books. I wouldn't dream of altering them, but this one was yellowed and dirty and just needed a facelift. I'm starting with the Downy Woodpeckers, and they don't have a whole lot of color on the birds themselves, but I'm going to show you what you can do with the page. I'm going to start with Love Struck, which will be the brightest color on the birds. I'm working with the Silk Acrylic Glazes on this project, but uh, I've used Twinkling H2O's and Radiant Rains on some of the others that I've done in the past. I'm not nearly finished with the book, but it's kind of like a coloring book. It's a lot of fun. So uh, I chose some more. Golden Monarch is one of the colors I'm going to use today. And another one is Honey, Honey Amber. Pretty color, Honey Amber. This is so pretty and shimmery. You'll see when I open the bottles. I've already covered my page with uh, clear gesso. I have used acrylic floor wax to do that before. I want I don't want them to leak through. So when I start using the pens especially because they're India ink. But uh, I'm not sure how that floor wax is going to hold up. So I went back to my clear gesso again. I'm going to start by painting in this page the tree around the birds first with honey amber. Uh, the silk glaze from Color Art, and it gives a real shimmery color. Look at that shimmer. Isn't that pretty? Uh, it's pretty thick, so I wanted it to be a little bit thinner for this particular project. And uh, every once in a while, I'm going to dip into some water and thin it out just a little bit. It just makes my paint go further. It doesn't do anything to the shimmer. Bring this right up to the birds, around them, around these little feet. And um, I feel a little awkward when I paint sometimes on camera because I'm used to twisting and turning pages all different ways. It doesn't bother me that this is upside down to me right now while I'm painting, but I'm just used to having it just twisting and turning all the time. So if I look a little awkward painting, that's the reason. That round tip brush was serving me pretty well, but I think I'm going to change to a flat. Uh, it's cut square on the edges and I can get the broader areas in faster. I'm a firm believer that in almost anything that you do, that your tools and equipment make a big difference in the end product. And so, you know, getting nice brushes, treat yourself to a new brush, Try out something different that you haven't tried before. Um, if you're using uh, student grade paints, switch and try artist grade paints. You're going to see a world of difference with that. I've used artist grade products for quite some time, but I had not uh, experimented much with the color art products, and you're not going to be taking those away from me very soon. Uh, I'll fight you for those. They show all the shimmer and the colors and they're really bright and shimmery. The quality of the paints is just outstanding. I need to go around this little head. It's a challenge for me to paint and talk at the same time because I'm using two different sides of my brain when I do that and uh, I like to think that both sides are fairly competent but the right side of the brain is the creative side that works with colors and shapes and spaces and all of that thing and the left side of the brain is your literal side 
and uh, when you're trying to put them both together, sometimes it can be a little difficult, especially since the literal side likes to tell the creative side that that's not right. That's our inner critic again, and it's just hard it's just hard to turn that off sometimes, especially when I'm talking. This book's already discolored and yellowed, but I'm gonna pull this out, give it a little, a little more color on the edges. This would obviously be a good antiquing glaze because it's almost the same color as the yellowing of the pages. I'm just making it a little yellower. But it has a nice um, brownish tint to it, not bright yellow. I think I'll use this nutmeg instead of the uh, uh, other one that I had pulled out here. I had Golden Monarch set to go, but I think the nutmeg will do a better job here for me because uh, the Golden Monarch is a light color, just like the Honey Amber, and so I need something a little darker to make the tree look contour, make it seem round. As I'm looking at these birds, I'm thinking that I might want to pull out something to enhance the black on them a little bit. In real life, they're probably camouflaged into the tree, but I get to make the decisions on this picture and I want the birds to show up better. So I'm gonna look for a paint here in my silks to see what would work. And I think black ice, I've chosen black ice to use. I'll probably combine that with some of my India ink from my pen for the finer lines. I'll give it a little shake here before I open the lid and let's see what we've got. I also think I'll change paint brushes to a much thinner paint brush to do these lines with. That's pretty intricate in that bird. Here's the black. I don't know if you can tell that it has the shimmer in it, but it does. Let's see how well I can do it, filling in some of these spaces kind of sketchily. Is that a word? Sketchily? Let's fill in the spaces. I don't want to fill up everything. I just want to enhance this. Ooh, that looks good. I like that. That's bringing it out. Very bold. But uh, I want to try not to go over every bit of the black, because then I think it might, even with the shimmer, look a little flat. Well, this is going on kind of like butter. It's pretty smooth. With this small brush, I'm able to get into the smaller areas here and very fluid. When my tree completely dries, I'm probably gonna go back over uh, with the nutmeg a little bit more to give that tree more roundness, more contour. But uh, I'll finish up these feathers on the birds. And then my plans are to give a floral, just kind of abstract floral all the way around these birds. But I know I'm better than to make promises when I'm doing art, because I often change my mind. Well, I got carried away with the colors, and uh, I really don't like this right now, but I'm gonna fix it. I used uh, some more of the silk colors here, that soft yellow color is lemon drop. And for the greens, I used mallard green and moss green. The red silk acrylic glazes are Carmen and Love Strike. In almost every creative effort that I make, I get to the point that I think it's terrible and I wanna quit, but I've learned through the years to just keep going. I turned a disaster into something that I think is worthy of my time, simply by enhancing and outlining with India ink. So here's how it looked before, and here's my final product. I'm happy I didn't stop when I thought I should. The color of the silk acrylic glaze around the edge is sea spray. It's beautiful, I love it.
When I finish all the pages inside the book, I'm going to alter the outside. I'll share some of the before and after pictures of pages that I've already finished. There are no scissor tail fly catchers in this book, but you know what? I can fix that. Uh, the fly catcher is not only a beautiful bird, but it's the Oklahoma State bird. So the blank pages inside both covers are gonna be dedicated to that bird and I'll be drawing it freehand. Just as soon as I get caught up in my studio with everything that I've promised people. I'll be back in a couple of weeks with another color art project. Watch for this on my YouTube because I will eventually finish this project and make a video for you to see how it turned out. In the meantime, we have a new project going up every day at colorart.com forward slash blog where you'll find a new design free tutorial each day. Design team members from all over the world, they're great. My blog is at studioabc.blogspot.com. Hope you'll visit me there. Leave a little comment. And of course, like all the other YouTubers, I hope you'll give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Bye-bye.